Hello YouTube! It is Toy Adventures here again with another figure review. And today I am finally getting to take a look at Halo Infinite Jazzwares Warthog with Master Chief. So this is part of their new three and three quarter inch, um, a whole new world of Halo, I believe it's called. World of Halo scaled Halo figures. Swiveling heavy turret chain gun, a new world of Halo scale. So I guess the world of Halo scale is going to be the three and three quarter inch scale. Uh, it's one I'm very invested in and can't wait to see what else comes out. So far, they've started off extremely strong with a, a, a line of figures and this beautiful uh, looking packaged Warthog. I mean, for real, this packaging is so nice. Such an awesome piece of art here. You got Chief driving. You got a Mark VI up there, I believe. Uh, it says Warthog with Master Chief right here. You get a nice little window, a uh, little, you know, window of Master Chief right there. The, the, I believe this is a unique Master Chief figure and unique meaning it has a little a scuff right there i don't know because i don't have the single carded version so i can't say yet but i will do a review of that single carded version once i get it just uh, to compare it so right here it says halo infinite whoa warthog with master chief you get a nice unsc logo right there taking it down to the back of course it's just the running master chief you got your own legal information right here I like how Xbox still uses the 360 logo. So, that is pretty much it for the box. So why don't we go ahead and get this open. All right, so here we have the Warthog completely unboxed. And this thing looks so amazing. Um, so much better than I expected. It just has so much paint detail, so much sculpt work put in there. I mean, I could really rave about this forever, bro. There is just sculpted work and paint detailing and scratches all over this. It really just screams quality toy. Like I honestly thought they didn't make, you know, mainline toys uh, like this anymore, but Jazzwares is, is consistently improving. You also get this awesome little Master Chief. It's the same uh, mold at least. Okay, we didn't see that happen. <clears throat> Let that be a warning to all of you. <laughs> not tripping about it i already have a master chief but um be careful these look at this look at this oh that's tough Ugh. well no worries i can give it the uh you can actually really easily pop these apart like this so i can switch out the uh because i like this upper body a little more than the old one it's less damaged up so uh, yeah kind of a bro moment but I didn't really want two chiefs anyway so oh well but let that be a lesson for the rest of you look at what chief is now that's tough well anyway we're gonna cover the figure first because we have to uh, this is a much less damaged version than master chief and the master chief that came with the um, Brute Chieftain. Right here, right now. As you can see, this one is far more beaten up, scratched up, the lot. That's why I really like this one's, at least this one's upper body. So what I'm gonna do basically is just take this upper body, put it on this one. Um, if you guys didn't see, I have to bring this up. I did make a little alteration to Mr. Chief over here. You see this cut? This allows for so much more accurate rifled shoulder poses for Master Chief. Look at that, it's so cool. And I'm gonna do it to this one too. 
so I can have him holding it properly. I mean, these look really good, but let's make perfect. So, for a moment to side, let's take a look at the Warthog. Now, if you guys watch the um, E3 trailers, you'll notice that the Warthog no longer has those long bull bars that it had going from here to here, you know, those metal bars. It does still have some of them, but in more practical locations, like a stepping area and something to help pull the, uh, someone up into the Warthog. Uh, you got actual rubber tires. Very nice, very nice. And they spin super easy. So uh, <clears throat> if I want to make Halo toy movies, this would be really fun to pull around. Uh, you got uh, not a real working winch, which is a little weird. I thought they would have might have done that, but then again, you never use the winch in game. But like Mattel makes working winches. Uh, right here, you got a nice little UNSC logo. I don't know if you guys can see it, if it's picking up on camera, all the little scratch marks all over this thing. Really nice looking detail, makes this thing look used and worn and it's been through some stuff. Uh, taking a look up into here, let's get the light in there. Taking a look inside the whip, you got all your dashboard and uh, heads up display and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, not heads up display, make your little uh, monitors and stuff, buttons, I don't know what these buttons would be. You got your stick, your driving wheel, your steering wheel. I'm assuming it's a glove box. Taking a look other side, just giving you guys a nice rundown of all the details going on here. I mean, you got tons. You've got stripes, all the seats look really nice, you even got the grating down in there. these gas cans are removable they just plug right on real easy real simple this gun is a little jinky a little uh, strange it doesn't this is doesn't point down at all it's about as far as it goes down that's about as far as it goes up the um, bullet belt right here kind of helps it bounce back into place it's really really stiff to twist the turret very very stiff like look i'm trying to do it with one hand it's just not going i don't know why it's so stiff i had the old mcfarland six inch warthog way back in the day and it did not have that stiff stif uh, stif of a turret none of the uh um, mega blocks or mega constructs warthogs that have that stiff of a turret. I don't know why this one does, but it does. So going over, you got you know you got your little UNSC logo up here. Everything's painted in. Taking a look here at the bottom, you've still got plenty of detail going on down here. Unfortunately, there is no real suspension system, which is kind of weird because all the mega blocks, uh, mega constructs ones have one. This antenna is unworldly hard to put in there, and as you can see, it's not fully pegged in. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, uh, I think there's only one, like, one thing left to do is comparisons. I mean, articulation, what the wheels move and the turret moves. So, I mean, I can compare it to other vehicles and, and see how other kinds of figures fit in it, but let's see how Halo figures fit in it. So there's Chief, a player two, Fits right in there nicely, looks natural, holding it, very nice. And the Marine, can't see him. He does look a little small in a vehicle that's meant for him. Uh, remember, these Warthogs are built for humans, not necessarily Spartans. So the Spartans should look big in it and the humans should look normal, but instead the Spartans look normal and the humans look tiny in it. That being said, why don't we compare how other brands of figures fit in there. Now we now have the Halo figures themselves fit in there, but what about Marauders or uh, Joy Toy or, or any of those? Let's try it out. And here it is with other brands. You got uh, Marauders, Joy Toy, and Modern G.I. Joe. They look good in it. A tiny bit small, maybe. <clears throat> it's been a while. 
or at least I don't know how big the infinite warthog is going to be in game but this looks a little small but it does look good it looks uh, pretty proper like I said <clears throat> and just a little bit on the small side in there but uh, I still like it I think it looks good so yes it does work with other one and one 118 scale figures so let's go ahead and compare it to other 118 scale vehicles. All right, so I've lined her up against a couple of other cars. Here we have the um, click and play or for peacekeepers or MNC toys, whatever name you want to call it. They're all the same mold. Uh, they're Humvee. Here we have the Jurassic World uh, rescue rig. And the Adventure Force, basically you know, the Walmart brand. Um, Jeep, I believe. I forgot what kind of Jeep. It's a Wrangler. So this is how they all compare together. It fits right in there. Although it does look a little more detailed than their my Jeep uh, custom. So uh, yeah, they do fit. They look good. And I'm just happy to finally have one 118 scale Halo vehicles, characters. It's all great. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this Halo review. I gotta give this a solid 10 out of 10. Great figure, um, though, you know, a re-release. I'm still happy to get an assault rifle. That's what I've been looking for. But, you know, good figure, uh, though I honestly would have probably put it with a Marine because people might be wanting to buy multiples of these. I bought two, but I'm keeping one in storage. Uh, so, yeah, but I mean, it's a good Master Chief. The vehicle is beautiful. There's so much detail going on. Um, the rubber tires, the, the removable gas cans, the rotating terrain, it just, it's all there. It looks great. It's beautifully painted, wonderfully sculpted, so much detail. This is a beautiful toy. Um, a real, you know, contender up there. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And this is Toy Adventures signing out. Peace.